As a nine-year-old immigrating to America with my grandparents, I became one of the youngest survivors of the most catastrophic collision in history between two ocean liners, the Andrea Doria and the Stockholm. The event of July 25th, 1956 sent shockwaves around the world. The blow, the fatal blow, sank our floating art museum that was the symbol of the Renaissance from the ashes of World War II. And of course, it shocked the world because it was the age of radar. Captain Kalamai of the Andrea Doria carried out the greatest sea rescue in history. What could have been another Titanic became an anti-Titanic. Yet he died feeling abandoned and dishonored. In my books, Alive on the Andrea Doria, L'Ultima Notte dell'Andrea Doria, and I was shipwrecked on the Andrea Doria, the Titanic of the 1950s. I explained the ruthless politics that prevented the case from going to trial. After the pretrial hearings, the insurer for both the Andrea Doria and the Stockholm, Lloyds of London, decided that the case would not go to trial and that everyone who testified would swear to silence indefinitely. Captain Kalamai of the Andrea Doria was never offered the command of another ship. Those who knew him said he died of a broken heart. In his last moments, on his deathbed, surrounded by his family, he whispered his last words. Are the passengers saved? Captain Kalamai was the most tragic symbol of the event. But the largest casualty of all was truth. As the 60th anniversary of the collision approaches, it is the perfect time to reveal to millions what really happened on that night of July 25th, 1956, and reveal it on the big screen. My mission? To create a short film entitled, Are the Passengers Saved? The drama is about a survivor, myself, who returns to Italy after many years to reveal a cold case that she has resurrected about the Andrea Doria. She presents to her friends documentation in photographs, survivor testimony, diagrams, archival footage to demonstrate what really happened. They are shocked. I also want to give the viewer an enigmatic twist, just as ironic as that of the Andrea Doria affair. Are the Passengers Saved will be filmed in both Italy and in Detroit, Michigan. My director, the multi-talented Luca Guardabascio of Rome, has brought on board some notable, very notable Italian actors. And I am very proud to announce that my friend and fellow survivor, the legendary songwriter Mike Stoller, is going to provide music for the film score. You probably know Mike Stoller as the throne behind Elvis Presley, along with his partner, Jerry Lieber. Together they composed Hound Dog, hundreds of hits, including Stand By Me which I have chosen as the slogan for this campaign. For your contribution to the film, we will deliver to you some gratifying rewards. These include a personalized dedication of the DVD of the movie and limited edition photographs taken on the set by national award-winning photographer Richard Haskin and a shot at stardom. Yes, you could be part of the movie, Are the Passengers Saved? 
just check the details under rewards. Although it's important to produce a cinematic work on its own merit, the short film, beautifully done, could also go to the Oscars. And who knows, a producer from Italy or the United States in cinema or television would think of doing a feature or a TV series based on the short film. I ask you to please stand by me to achieve my mission to bring the real Andrea Doria story to the big screen and at the same time celebrate truth and heroism. Thank you very much. Grazie mille.